That's my old 2007 Mazda 3 over there, which I kind of blew up the motor the other day, so it's dead. So, it was time to get a new Mazda 3 over here in black, kind of new, 2016. And uh, when I was at the dealership, I was looking at it, and the newer cars all have this nice little media center here. I even told my wife, I almost rather go with an older model because I don't really want a media center that I don't have control over. But, bought it one day, the next day looked online and figured out how to run shell scripts off the USB drive. So let me go ahead and plug this in here. It's fairly simple, and I'll do a video on it in the future. It's nice, it's got two USB ports for playing music off of. So I plug that in, and hopefully, they say it could take up to 120 seconds. Usually I find that it takes uh, less than 30 seconds. And right now, I just it should pop up a message here. Give it a moment. There we go. Look at that. Metal X1000, and what's the message? Chris is awesome, and this is a regular, they actually have a dialog application on there, and I actually was just reading online a help file for it. This is just a, uh, a confirmation window, but I guess you can do error messages, warnings, stuff like that. And this is running from a shell script, uh, and if I click OK here, it will give you another message. Please visit filmsbychris.com. Again, I'll do more videos on this in the future. I'm going to be trying to pull as much information and files off of this device as possible and uh, do just lots of fun things. So, it makes me feel good because, you know, almost everything runs Linux, and uh, I don't like buying devices. You know, I don't care, you know, I don't, I don't wanna say I don't care. You know, obviously this interface is probably a proprietary interface. Obviously an open source or a free software uh, interface would be even better. Um, but I don't like buying devices that I don't have a root shell on. Uh, but you get me a, um, a Linux kernel and a root shell, and I'm happy because I can do pretty much anything I need. Uh, so I'm going to be learning as much about this as possible, and hopefully in a couple of weeks I'll do some videos on it. Uh, I'm going to look into uh, maybe even, uh, you know, playing around. It has built-in GPS, and I don't think my model does because I'm not seeing it under devices, but supposedly some cars have Wi-Fi so you can, uh, you know, uh, stream stuff, you know, tether to your your phone, if your phone has that functionality, and then stream stuff that way or do map updates and stuff like that. Um, when I go into devices, I do not see that. I only see the Bluetooth, uh, which would, I wish it had the Wi-Fi because then I could uh, set up SSH and SSH into it and then use a keyboard to set up stuff. And since it has built-in GPS and if it had built-in Wi-Fi, oh, war drive and like crazy without anything but my car. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna play around with this. Uh, mainly I'm on a, on a mission to find uh, information, more information about this. Again, I'm very happy with how the system's set up. I just need to play music. There are apps out there that I, that people have installed, you know, um, cause it plays music, but I guess you can install video apps, which I'm not going to be watching videos, uh, while I'm driving. Um, but, uh, I, I just, I just want to learn more about the system. I want to pull files off of it, maybe put some files on it. Uh, but yeah, I have a car running Linux that I have shell access to right now through scripts off a flash drive and it was very simple to do um thanks for joining me and again please visit filmsbychris.com i hope you have a great day